Now, in the questions which are based on probability, you will find them dividing it into different categories. The very favorite category is the problems based on dices. All right. Let's see the question. What does the problem say? It says two dice are thrown at random. Find the probability of getting a multiple of three or four as the sum. So multiple of three or four. All right. So let's try to see this question. Multiple of three. What multiples of three I can have? I can have the multiple of three as three. The next one can be six. Three threes are nine. Three fours are twelve. I cannot have more than twelve, right? Similarly, mult or the word or means I have to take the multiple of three also as well as multiple of four also. So four ones are four. Four twos are eight. This will help me to count the number of cases that exist. So, in how many ways I can get a three if I throw a dice? I can say I can have one, two, or I can have two, one. Similarly, if I want six, I can say I can have three, three, or I can have five, one. I can have one, five. I can have two, four. I can have four, two. Clear? Similarly, if I say I want nine, in how many ways I can get nine? I can say five, four. I can say four, five. I can say six, three. I can say three. 6. Correct? I want 12. Can I say there is only one way to get a 12? What is that one way? I can say 6, 6. I want 4. Can I say there is only one way? 2, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1. All right. I want 12, 8. How many ways I can get 8? 6, 2. I can say 2, 6. I can say 5, 3. I can say 3, 5. Or also I can say 4, 4. Correct? So if you count them, you will understand that how many favorable outcomes do exist. So if I just counted, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So probability of the event to occur will be equal to favorable. Favorable outcomes I have are 20 out of the total number of outcomes. So when I throw a dice, how many total outcomes are possible? For one dice, I can have six possible outcomes. Similarly, for the second dice, I can again have six possible outcomes, which means it is six and six. The symbol of multiplication means one out of six here and one out of six here. So my favorable outcomes will be 20 out of 36. So four fives are 20, four nines are 36. So the probability of the event to occur will be equal to five by nine. This is a simple example of a two dice question. Similarly, we can have a question for three, we can have a question for four, but ultimately the fundamental remains the same. You have to convert the question in terms of the number of cases. All right, so first read the condition given to you in the question. Based on that condition, try to jot down the number of cases which are possible, which will help you to generate the favorable as well as the total number of outcomes. Clear? Let's take up the Next example. Now, based on this, I will take one more example, which is not there in this question. But considering our previous discussion about two dice, I will take one more example for three, and then we'll discuss one more for four. Now, the reason to do this is, it will be a question in the mind that, you know, when I'm having a question based on two, three, four, so what happens to the cases and how we can simplify the cases if I have the multiple dices. Now, let's take up a question. I'm having three dices, all right? So three dice are there. I'm having a simple question in how many ways, or you can say find the probability of getting a number greater than the previous number. So I'll repeat the question. Three dice are thrown at random. Find the probability of getting a number greater than the previous number each time. So what do I mean by this? I mean to say, every time I want a number which is greater than the previous number each time. Clear? So the basic rule is, in that case, I have to fix up the position of any one dice out of the two or out of the three rather. So to make it simple, I know one thing, at every position, what can happen? Let's say at this case, at the first place for the first dice, I cannot have 
5 or 6 because if 6 comes over here I cannot have a number greater than 6 if 5 comes over here 6 will come over here and a number greater than 6 will come over here all right similarly if I say I cannot have 5 and 6 at this position similarly I cannot have 1 at this position why because if I keep 1 over here for the previous dice I need a number which is less than 1 what is less than 1 0 and 0 for a dice is not possible similarly 6 cannot come here because if 6 is here next time I will want a number which is greater than 6 similarly 1 and 2 so if 1 cannot come here 0 cannot come here if 2 cannot come here I can say if 2 comes here 1 will come here in that case again 0 will come here which is again not possible so for every dice if you see we have identified two numbers or two cases which cannot exist so what can be the next case one nahi sakta, six nahi sakta for the second dice but I can say two aa sakta hai all right if I fix up two over here in that case one is over here and for the next case that is for the third dice I can have three four five or six so this place is filled in one way this place is filled in one way and this place is also filled in four ways so the total number becomes one out of this one out of this one out of this it means 1 2 3 1 2 4 1 2 5 1 2 6 so total cases are 4 similarly if 2 comes over here the next case can be 3 if 3 comes over here the previous will have 1 or 2 and the next will have 4 5 or 6 so this place filled in two ways this place is filled in one way and this place is filled in three ways so one out of this one out of this one out of this will give you a total of what six ways clear so after three the next is what four and now if this is four this has to be five or six and if this is four what comes before this one two or three so this place is filled in three ways this place is filled in one way and this place is filled in two ways so three one two which will again give you what six and similarly four comes over here the next number we have is five and if 5 comes over here, the previous numbers can be either 1, 2, 3 or 4 and the next number can be 6. So this place is filled in 4 ways, this place is filled in 1 way and this place is also filled in 1 way. So 4 out of this, 1 out of this, 1 out of this, so this is what? 4 again. Now if you try to see, 6 obviously cannot come here. So this will help me to understand that probability of the event again to occur is equal to 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 10 is 20. So it is 20 upon total number of outcomes how many dice are there three so I can say six for the first six for the second six for the third so six six and six will will give you a total of what two one six so probability of the event to occur will be equal to 20 divided by two one six that is 20 divided by 216 clear so this is an example of three dice now what happens if we have the case of four dice again it is not there in the question but this is just a part of general discussion over here so let's try to take up a question for four dices now if I have a question which is based on four dices what is the favorite nature of these questions now listen to the question very carefully four dice are thrown at random all right four dice are thrown at random so the question is every time if you see at least three should get the same number at least two should get the same number so let's try to frame the cases at least two get the same number at least four get the same number now four dice are thrown four people throw a dice first second third and fourth all right four people are throwing a dice at least two get the same number at least two get the same number means what when i jot down the cases i'll say two gets the same number first case or three gets the same number all right or we can say all get the same number all get the same number or the last case no one gets the same number no one gets the same number but we know that if we add all of them the maximum probability of the event to occur will be equal to how much one so if you say the question the question was if four dices are thrown at random or four people throw a dice find the probability of getting you know at least two should get the same number so at least two get the same number means i want this minimum two should get the same number or more than two three get the same number or 
all get the same number or no one gets the same number. So this case I don't want. So do rather than calculating this plus this plus this, can I say one minus all the cases when no one gets the same number? So one minus those cases when no one gets the same number. So what do you mean by no one gets the same number? Four dices are thrown and if I say no one gets the same number. So if I am the first person to throw the dice, can I say first one I will be having how many choices? Six choices. Jo number mere paas hai, wo second time nahi aasakta. Jo number second time aagaya, wo third time nahi aasakta. Or jo number third time aagaya, wo fourth time nahi aasakta. So this is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3. So 6 fives are 30. 30 into 12 will give you 360. Alright. Upon the total number of cases. Total number of cases, 6 for the first, 6 for the second, 6 for the third and 6 for the fourth. Which is 6 to the power 4 which is 1, 2, 9, 6. Alright. So this will define the number of ways in which you can say that you two people should at least get the same number. So these are three variations of a dice base questions. So we have discussed about two, we have discussed about three, we have discussed about four. So effectively, whenever you are solving any question, just ensure one thing that is it the approach which we need backwards or is it the approach which we need straightforward? All right, so top to bottom, bottom to top, which approach is required, number one. And to make it simple, always understand that the maximum probability of the event will always be equal to one. Clear? Thank you.